There's a new survey out this Monday that suggests doctors need a clearer understanding of the reasons to vaccinate preteens against the cancer-causing human papillomavirus. Melanie has the new information. So, Mel, the survey found that pediatricians aren't strongly recommending the cancer-preventing HPV vaccine specifically to preteens. Well, that is what's contributing to this low vaccination rate. The most common reasons doctors cited for delaying HPV d discussions and vaccinations included a belief that parents hadn't had sex. These patients and parents would object. But about one third of all people have had sex by the age of 16. The cancer used to mainly show up in older men, but it is rising in younger men. And now doctors are questioning, could kissing be the culprit? This new development of head and neck cancer is something that really has taken us by storm and, and by surprise. Not all that long ago, head and neck cancers mainly showed up in older men who smoke and drink. Now it's a whole different story and doctors are worried. You could feel it. You could see it and you could feel it. It, it, it was a protruding. A former college football star, 57-year-old Bill Fisher, saw a sore throat turn into a lump and then into cancer. Don't smoke at all. Uh, never have. Just occasional, you know, wine, maybe a margarita every now and again, but not, not much drinking. These cancers are just now getting the public's attention, thanks to efforts from actor Michael Douglas. Oral cancers are increasing in the U.S., and as in my own case, most people know little about them. But doctors do know that cancers cause HPV, or human papillomavirus. It is spread through intimate contact, oral sex, possibly even kissing. Bill's treatment, an intense combo of chemo and radiation. But you've got to catch it early. A combination of surgery and radiation often is curative early on. Don't ignore that nagging sore throat, a lump on the neck, or a sore on your tongue. Don't procrastinate and put it off. Um, um, go do something about it. A national survey found that 60% of young girls and only 42% of young boys had gotten at least one dose of the vaccine, but three doses are recommended. There is more information on avoiding HPV on the CDC's website. That is cdc.gov HPV.